discovering the truth above it all. It's time to elevate the conversation. Today we're talking about media literacy because media is literally everywhere. And it's not just everywhere, it has an impact on us. Media is how we keep up with the world around us. So I wanna tell you a story. Growing up, Taco Bell was one of my favorite restaurants. If I could have eaten there weekly, I would have, but one time I had a bad experience and I swore I would never eat it again. And I was successful, years went by, I never thought about Taco Bell, never had a double-decker taco craving. Yeah, sometimes I looked at the Baja Blast and I thought about having a Mexican pizza, but one day I saw one of their commercials and something about the light, the light beaming off that super processed ground beef and the reddish orange shell of the Doritos Locos Taco, it was just, it got me, I was hooked. I was driving myself home from a long day of running errands and working and I saw a Taco Bell on the corner. And I fought through traffic to get over several lanes and sat in a long line and ordered a bunch of food that was way too much and I inhaled it in like two and a half minutes. The awful feeling of regret and disgust washed over me. There was a reason I swore off Taco Bell. And it wasn't even as delicious as I remembered or as it looked on the commercial. Isn't this true with media? It usually gets us this way, right? The things that we consume have an impact on us. I recently heard a speaker put it this way. The world you live in is the world you live out. The media and messages you consume shape the way you see the world and the way you want to see the world. It influences how you live your life in that world. If the world you live in is the world you live out, why doesn't it seem like media adds a little more? tension in our worlds. Maybe you've experienced one or more of these tensions. Feeling behind, information overload, bad news or heavy news is everywhere, feeling left out, impulsive checking, you have a love-hate relationship with your devices. What tensions do you resonate with when it comes to using media? Today's media is smart and it's designed to keep you entertained so the platforms can keep making ad money. So how can you tell what you're choosing to be entertained versus what's an impulsive de decision? And what is really harmful? With the rise in mental health concerns and links to social media, the question becomes, how do we work against creating negative cycles and regain control of our pursuit of truly of the truly good life. Is it possible to navigate the world of media and embrace the kind of good life that Jesus invites us into? Has media changed how you see the world, whether it's negatively or positively? How do you stay in control of how you use social media? Well, I wanna go back to the Old Testament, um, which is a, a collection of books sometimes called the wisdom books. It's like a library filled with knowledge to answers, to answer questions like, what kind of world are we living in and how do I navigate it with wisdom? How do I get to the good life? Well, let's look at something found in one of these books called Proverbs. It says, getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do and whatever else you do, develop good judgment. This short verse has a huge message for us when it comes to navigating our world and especially the world of media. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do, and whatever else you do, develop good judgment. In this verse, the writer is sharing some wise advice that they receive themselves. The play on words is saying that getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. Is the writer putting huge emphasis on the power of wisdom? They add, when you're not working on getting wisdom, you know, in your free time, be working on developing good judgment. The truth is, the verse gives us two clues about wisdom. The words getting and develop tell us that we have an ongoing part to play when it comes to acquiring wisdom. You have to go after it. Be attentive when there's an opportunity to grasp wisdom. Developing a skill means getting enough practice that you actually get better at it over time. Choose wisdom, develop judgment, and experience freedom. 
Developing disciplines and putting what you've learned into practice is a way of life for Jesus. Jesus consistently invited his followers to put into practice the things that they were learning from him. This idea of practice means intentionally doing an action over and over again to learn and improve. When the writer of Proverbs says develop good judgment, they understand the act of getting better and better at good judgment is what helps you think critically and navigate away from unwise things and towards wise decisions. What does all of this have to do with media literacy? It will take wisdom and good judgment to navigate all the messages, media, and methods media throws at us. What was one of the encounters that you've had with media that maybe required some wisdom to navigate? I know that we all have one. Well, here's three practices to help us shape our relationship with media. First, dream the extreme. When you encounter a piece of media, imagine for a split second, if I were to hear this message a thousand more times, what kind of world would I be creating for myself to live in? How might turning the volume up all the way on this affect myself and others? Then decide if it's a good piece of media for you to engage with or not. Second, decide before you arrive. Be more intentional with your media usage by deciding what you're going to search for before you open that platform. Practice not being distracted by whatever greets you first on the page. Pre-decide how much time you're going to spend and set a timer. Call out the shout. Just make sure you set a time and, and, and you organize yourself on media so that you do not get stuck in this loop. It's in the headlines that use absolute like always, never, every time. You know the videos, how to get the perfect lash application every time or how to reach your highest potential on the court every day. You have what it takes to navigate the ever-growing world of media in a way that makes space for meaningful connection with God, with life, and with those around you. So reach out and set goals for yourself before going online. Discovering the truth above it all. It's time to elevate the conversation.